Hello everyone, I am Siddhant. Uh, in the last class, we uh, understand the topic, the chapter 10, which is uh, the rectification of error and adjusting and the closing entries, the trial balances. There we understand about the basics. Now we will dwell much into the questions aspects because the simple questions around this will be asked from this section. What you need, you need a just the understanding and the application of what we have read in the last class. So this is just the application of all the problems that we have studied in the last chapter. The three problems associated with the trial balances are which is need to be need which needs rectification is first the problem of overcasting and the undercasting. Second problem, the errors in trial balance. Errors before the errors in before the preparation of the trial balance. And the third one, errors after the preparation of the trial balance. We will see how we gonna rectify the error when this error happens. I already told you what trial balance each and uh, why there is a need to rectify because in order to get the uh, accurate data you need to report the accurate things but if in the transaction if the transaction entry or the transaction posting entry means when you are writing in the generals and when you are uh, and posting means when you are writing from general to the particular ledger when some clerical error happens in writing of the transactions values then the then the errors occurs so in order to rectify we need this concept to understand so first moving on to the first one the undercasting and the overcasting here i told you to learn the four rules which is a very simple rules i would say how to learn that and as far as rules are concerned especially in the model b we we read um, uh, previously before this rule we read one more rules which is important which is of the when entry of the when which is associated with the writing of the entry in the generals but this is associ associated with the rectification of the errors that's the difference so we will see the rules and this rule is very simple to understand uh, i will tell how so these are the rules these are the four rules, basic principle on the rectification of the error. Uh, the rules are access debit in one or more accounts. I would like to write all these rules on your paper. After writing the rules, I will tell you how to remember the rules. It's very simple. The first, let's say, the first rule says that access debit in one or more accounts crediting the access amount. Uh, the first rule we, we will understand, let's say, for ATM charges in your bank is rupees 100. Okay. And you charged rupees 120. So customer will come. He will report to you that why extra 20 rupees got deducted. Then what will you do? You will refund this amount 20 rupees to his account. So what you are doing? You are crediting. So whenever according to the first rule that is access debit in one or more account what uh, wh how to uh, rectify this error you can rectify this error by crediting the access amount it's simple so we will move on to the second rule the short debit in one or more account let's say the atm cost is 100 uh, charge is 100 but you charge only 80 rupees and latter part in the auditing when auditing of the register took place by the uh, back office then you find that you have taken 20 rupees less and so they told you to cut extra 20, 20 rupees more so that it will be complied of the rules and regulation so you again deducted 20 rupees so what you are doing you are debiting on his account so according to the second rule short debit in one or more account what will you do you will 
further debit to the respective account so you will further debit similarly access credit in one or more accounts uh, let's say some check gone for the clearance and uh, the check is rupees of 10,000 but instead of 10,000 you credited on his account 12,000 so what, what will you do you will debit that uh, the extra amount so when access credit in one or more account debiting the respecting account and similarly the short uh, when there is a short credit in one account you will further credit so you can remember this by in the debit we can remember the ATM example and with the help of credit we can do the check clearance example so that you can easily apply these rules in the examination questions now in the last chapter we also learned why the purchase book always in debit it's a, a debit account we can the purchase book is always a, is the debit account and the sales book is always in the credit account why is it so i told you the uh, things how we can find the debit and credit whether this where some account is credit or in uh, credit or debit how can we find we can find through the statement when we are find um, when we are making the generals entry we find at that time that the sum account is uh, de in debit or credit so let's example i will explain why it's debit and credit then i will move on to the questions let's say purchase of goods on credit from ram okay this is a statement you need to uh, make the general entry of this so i told you that one basic rule which you need to remember every now and then it is required when you are finding the general entries so the accounts are of three, three types personal real and nominal here you need to remember that the rules the rules are debit the receiver credit the giver here debit what comes in credit what goes out you need to remember this a nominal expense debit income credit so you need to remember this and i told you what is personal real and nominal personal is something in which we have some hamara uh, kuch lena dena hoga in future the personal account for example when some bank has given us loan so we need to repay that loan so there is a relationship between the person between us and the bank so it's a personal account the bank on on our behalf on our behalf as a company the bank account is a personal account because in the future we need to give them something so that's a personal account because hamara lena dena hai kuch real account is the assets account like let's say the goods account the cash account these are nothing but an asset the land accounts are the assets similarly the nominal are the expenditure and the income whatever the expenditure you can debit lights like uh, the office expense or the salary is the expense so it's in debit and whatever uh, our income is in the credit so this is the basic rules now we will see first when they whenever there is a statement and we need to find the general entries then how can we find the general entries first we will find what all accounts are involved since the amount is given credit on the credit basis it means in future may हमारे कंपनी एंड राम का लेना देना है देर इज रिलेशनशिप इन फ्यूचर वी नीड टू हैव हैव अ कॉन्टेक्ट विथ इच अदर सो दिस इज अ पर्सनल अकाउंट सो व्हाट विल व्हाट विल वी डू देर इज टू अकाउंट इन्वॉल्व वन इज राम अकाउंट एंड अनदर वन इज परचेस अकाउंट यू कैन से परचेस अकाउंट और परचेस बुक अकाउंट बोथ आर सेम बिकॉज दीज आर नथिंग बट अ बुक वी विल in ledger we will se make a separate book for all of these that's why so purchase account ram account now uh, we will see the rules what rules says since ram account ram account is a personal account we will go to the personal account and we will see that ram is a giver or receiver since ram giving us the goods so he is the giver now 
the giver credit so ram account credited and if one is credited other one automatically debited purchase account debited you can also practice other way around we can also see the purchase account what is what are purchase account this purchase account is nothing but a goods which coming to our factory or company so we will see it since it's a good so it's an asset we will see in the asset part that is what comes in debit so purchase account debited if one is debit another one is credit so we can check either of them and we can proceed so this is the let's say uh, what what was the amount involved purchase and credit from ram let's say 5000 rupees so we have to write 5000 5000 5000 okay this is the general entry we are done with so here the what we conclude from this that purchase account will always in debit similarly the sales account will always in credit now we will see the correction of the first example the undercasting and the overcasting so so this is the example of the overcasting and the undercasting so what will you do let's say the question is purchase book overcasted by rupees 3000 what overcasted means means more de more debited and as we discussed that purchase book is nothing but a debit so according to the rule when we see the rule whenever there is excess debit overcasted means nothing but a more debit means excess so we will see excess debit it's a debit account so we will see the debit whenever there is excess debit what will we, what will we have to do we need to credit the account so we need to in order to uh, rectify this mistake credit purchase account this is the answer in real scenario we have to maintain like this column and we have to write everything but in the examination point of view we will directly ask this question we have to directly answer it <clears throat> next the purchase return book so whenever the purchase book is in debit so purchase return book return whenever th uh, this is like that return is added it is opposite to the one which has so it's a debit so it one has credit balance now credit balance over costed by 1500 rupees since it's a credit over costed means excess now we will see the rule excess credit since the account is credit and the over costed means it's an excess so what will what we need to do we need to debit the respective account now we will we will have to debit the purchase return book so this is as simple as it sales book under cost by rupees 2000 what our sales book we have discussed it's in credit and what does the under cost means means the uh, short so we will see the rule short credit one or more account for the credit to the respective account so we will what will we do we will credit the sales account so this is how this works now we will see the second errors and this is the rectification of the error of the problems next we will see the before preparation of the trial balance what we need uh, how we can rectify the errors so moving on to the second problem that uh, uh, before the preparation of the trial balance so before the preparation of the trial balance what we had we had the ledger we have the general so this problem associated with the generals or the ledger itself so let's say in the question itself is given 3500 paid for a typewriter was charged to the office expenses this is the question given that since 3500 paid for the typewriter paid means what all accounts are involved in this 3500 paid for a typewriter one since it's paid it's not on the credit so no personal account um, it's paid on the cash so cash account involved and other typewriter so typewriter account involved which one is a, a which one is debit and which one is credit so by seeing the rules typewriter account will be in debit cash account will be in credit we'll follow the same rule what we had uh, read when we are doing the general entries so 
the correct we will write like this we will following the process but in the examination you have to directly write it correct entry i am showing you how rectification is done in the actual so what uh, what is the correct entry typewriter account debited to cash account but what was the wrong entry it was written there but um, paid for a typewriter was charged to the office expenses state of typewriter account it charged to the office expenses so office expenses office account debited to cash so the wrong entry is that instead of this office account we have to write this typewriter account then it will be the correct entry in the actual in the general book itself it was this one is written but actually we need to write this one so in the side of the generals or the or the other pages of the generals what we need to write we will write like this that first we will read the write the correct entry what should be entered then we write the wrong entry now we will rectify rectification entry how to do this since first we will move on to the we will see the wrong entry what we did since uh, in the correct entry no office account debited no office account involved at all but here we debited so in order to nullify first we will have to office account credited we will have to reverse this as what we do in the banking scenario whenever there is a person who has to instead of uh, who, who come to deposit money but instead of that we uh, withdraw his money so we need to reverse it that's the same case we are doing so office account credited so this got reversed this cash account cash account remains the same now instead of this office account we need to debit the typewriter account so we need to write the typewriter account debited so this is the rectification entry this is how it works now we will see various examples how we can uh, so so that you could understand how it works now we will see this example i also since it's been around one year so i also forgot all these things but i studied again and in order to make you feel easy i wanted to deliver in a very effective or easy way so when the question is the purchase of the goods from ram amounting of rupees 20000 has been wrongly passed through sales book so it is saying that purchase of the goods from ram amounting 20000 the purchase of the goods from ram amounting 20000 so whenever it doesn't say anything about lack uh, that the amount is in cash or anything then we should consider that it's in uh, it's in credit basis so what would be the correct entry correct entry is purchase account debited to debit account this is found by the same using the formula that we have learnt in the general entries so when you find this is the correct entry but it has been said that has been wrongly passed through the sales book so wrong entry is debit account debited to sales account so in the examination how the question will come it will directly give you like this I think they will not give you any statement in my time there were no statement I read or understand from this point of view so here the wrong entry is debit account debited the sales account credited but what we want we want purchase account debited to debit account credited so we here the debit account is mentioned here but here the debit account is in credit here it, it's in debit so what we need to do first in order to nullify from the since the wrong entry is in debit we need to, in order to nullify we first need to credit once debit account now it's got nullify no uh, uh, no extra uh, no uh, amount is no net amount is zero 
because uh, in the wrong entry we debited if we credit something in the debit account then there is the, the net is zero now but the, the correct is one that we need to credit it so for the first time debit account this is the rectification entry first we need to do debit account credited so uh, let's say we have debited 5000 of rupees but in the correction we need to credit that 5000 so what we need to do in order to need that 5000 since we have debited first we have to deposit this 5000 of rupees so 5000 is credited is now since this is 5000 is to be credited when we uh, deposit 5000 of rupees so what we have debited it becomes nullified becomes zero so and uh, in the correct entry it requires 5000 to be credited in his account so again we will do debit account credited so 5000 5000 okay now this this debit we have achieved in the correct entry now for the sales account since sales account here no mentioning of the sales account in the correct entry so we have credited so we need to debit it so sales account debited and in the correct entry purchase account is there and since there is no mention in the so we need to debit that purchase account i am telling you the shortcut if you understand if you do it with the understanding it will become more easy you will enjoy more but this is a shortcut how you can do so purchase account debited five thousand uh, three thousand of rupees sorry i did 5000 i wrote 5000 3000 and sales account debited 3000 so debit is 6000 rupees here credit 6000 rupees so we need to do it like this here the actual amount is only involved is 3000 let's say we will take 3000 rupees here also 3000 3000 3000 3000 but in order to rectify we need to a right double entries or anything we can write in order to nullify the effect and we get the uh, desired result what we wanted so this is 6000 6000 involved but here since the purchase is separate entity or uh, uh, sales is a separate entity so we will write purchase account debited sales account debited but here the debit account debit account we uh, we wrote two times but it will be combined to one and we will have to write to debit account credit 6000 of rupees single we will we do not need to write 3000 two times so that's how it works one more example we will take so that it will be uh, graspable and you can easily understand the concept so the next question is uh, the old furniture got sold for rupees 3000 passed through the sales book whenever it writes like the pass through the sales book you need to understand that instead of that uh, instead of the involvement of the furniture account the sales, so sales account got involved okay that one is easy we will see the simple one and we will directly see how you can make let's suppose the correct entry is let's say uh, sam account debited to sales account let's suppose this is correct entry 20k 20k let's say the wrong entry purchase account debited to sam account again 20k 20k so in order to rectify first we will compare i will i'm telling you trick how to approach so first we will compare the correct entry and the wrong entry we will see that same account same account is mentioned in both of them so it's easy and since the purchase account mentioned in the wrong one but in the correct one no purchase account so we will first nullify it purchase account credited now it got nullified now in order to introduce then we compare that this is an extra which is not being mentioned this sales account is extra which is not mentioned in the wrong entry so we will since it's in credit so we have to write that in credit to sales account credited now here the same account credit but here debit so in order to first for the first entry 
we have to nullify it sam account debited now it got nullified now again introduce uh, move into the debit again we have to sam account debit this is how you can do but in uh, these two will be singly written as sam account debited and we will just double the amount 40k but here the amount is 40k this is 20k this is 20k we will get 40k this is how you can do so that's it for the second part now we will see the trial balance the third part in the third category we had learned that whenever there is a mismatch in the trial balance uh, if you want to understand what trial balance is and what is the purpose uh, we can take the banking scenario like in the bank after the working hour we used to match our cash so whenever there is a mismatch we used to find uh, we can we uh, we see, generally see the cash book what all cash are involved and in and it can be printed out from the computer and we match the cash uh, and since when the cash doesn't match so we are doing nothing but we are seeing a trial balance because it will only show the debit and credit of the uh, of all the transactions so whenever there is a mismatch let's say a mismatch of 10,000 of rupees the credit side so we will see where we had where we did mistakes in the uh, where we actually uh, did the mistakes uh, so uh, in order to find the mistake let's say it's uh, it's it's a very long process and let's say uh, you don't have much time to remain in the bank so what will you do you will put this 10000 of extra credit uh, the extra difference to the suspense account so whenever there is a mismatch in the trial balance we the suspense the suspense account comes into picture now this suspense account has a 10000 Ten thousand rupees. So the next day when we come to the bank and we find that, or the same day, we can also do it in the same day. So we find that some accounts are less uh, credited than actual. Let's say someone has deposited two thousand rupees, but we uh, credited only two hundred rupees. So this eighteen hundred of rupees. What we need to do? We need to uh, debit this suspense account and need to credit the particular account whichever account it's a the miss the difference is 1800 we need to do so we need to find all these accounts and in, we need to debit the suspense account and credit the respective accounts as according to the um, uh, as according to the amount they have deposited or they had uh, owe to uh, uh, or the bank owe to that particular person so we need to uh, debit the suspense account credit it to the particular accounts in order to match the trial balance so that's it we doesn't require too much it, the question will be direct from the this sections and we just need to debit the suspense account and credit the particular account so that it, the trial balance will be matched so i think that's enough practice of the things what you know you have to do you have to practice through the through from any sources related to this chapter uh, go chapter wise it will be very beneficial because uh, if you go with the chapter wise the concepts will be clearer clearer and clearer and ultimately you will get a very good marks in the certification examination so go with the chapter wise whatever doubt you have you can ask in the groups that is a facebook group the backing inside out you can post it there you can ask you can message me uh, i will definitely reply uh, once i will i will be free Okay, that's it. Thank you.